There we go. Okay, so this is a video of, well, we already did most of this. Uh, I guess we should start in the truck look, area. Looking at the deal. Oh yeah, this is this is me and my brother. Um, I hope this thing doesn't die. This one's got one battery, but anyway. So 1992 Ford F250 460 with a ZF5 speed in it, and clutch was slipping. You know, it didn't sound real great. Didn't shift the greatest. Start. Yeah, yeah. So we'll show you the flywheel later, but. Uh, the transmission's out, as you can see, and uh, to give you some pointers on this, you know, we didn't have any videos, we didn't find any videos on this type of transmission removal. Um, there's a whole bunch on the diesels, which I've done before, and I also have a video on. Um, the exhaust here on this truck is different, but if you're wondering if you can take the transmission out with this exhaust on, you can. Um, you need to get a good jack, you know, like this one here. 250 bucks Harbor Freight, great investment. Um, we actually took everything off and we left the exhaust on. Now one mistake we made, we, we kept lowering the jack and we didn't take the exhaust off this hook right here. And the engine was resting on the exhaust and it didn't drop enough for us to take the transmission off. So you just have to undo this hanger right here, but you can get it out. I mean, it's still bolted on and everything, and the transmission's out. Um, now, we were going to take it out with the transfer case on it back here, but we ended up taking the transfer case off because we had a lot of trouble getting this transmission out. And the reason for that was partly due to uh, the dowel pin rods, which one of them is right here, and it's just really corroded really rusty, really nasty. We had to really shake this thing off. Um, and then there's another dowel pin rod, but it's on this flex, it's on this thin sheet metal, the inspection cover, which is all one piece, which I'll show you. Um, as far as the transmission goes, you know, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's a pretty bad throw out bearing. Um, his transmission doesn't leak at all. It's really good. Um, it's got the, the shafts in great condition, nothing wrong with it, no damage. Uh, we're going to clean this all up and put grease on when we reinstall it. Um, all the bolts came out. We're going to probably, we might chase these holes, chase these bolt holes. And um, I mean, you have to take the starter off, of course. And we just hung it up there with a, uh, a bike lock. But it works. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why is your transmission sitting on plywood or 2x? Uh, well, this we jacked the truck up really high and the jack wouldn't reach it, so we put this two pieces of plywood on there. And why is the transmission still under the truck? Well, because we couldn't fit it out without taking it off the jack. And we don't need to service the transmission, we're just doing the clutch. So everything we need to do to this, we can do right here. We're just gonna leave it there. Um, so you can take this transmission out with the exhaust on. Um, I highly recommend you do so because those nuts will break. It's a stud, it's not a bolt. It's a stud on the manifold if you try to get break try to take it off it's probably gonna break um, drive shaft bolts all came loose um, we're gonna replace the uh, clutch master cylinder he's got a new one in a box um, this is a used one from a power stroke that I gave him actually and it worked fine for a while but whenever you do a clutch and everything you're just supposed to replace it all uh, we might do a video we probably won't we probably won't do a video on removing this this is your pilot bearing and we're probably gonna drive this out with either bread or grease. Uh, basically, you just fill this hole with grease or bread and then take a, uh, take a tool or a punch that's that diameter and just smack it really good. And it'll, the grease will hit the back of this bearing and push it out. Um, but there's tons of videos on that. You don't need to see that. Now we'll show you um, the clutch and everything. Okay, so we got the transfer case off um, and we had a leak probably here we're gonna replace this gasket here um, this one's good and the transfer case is in great shape you know it spins really great shifts good uh, it's just disgusting looking you know <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to clean this thing up and we think a lot of it was just leaking from here and then getting thrown around uh, we're probably gonna do this seal this seal and this seal and we're gonna split it in half which is all these bolts here that you really can't see because it's so disgusting. Uh, we're gonna take all those off and we're gonna re-goop it with uh, fresh RTV. 
and we'll probably call it good. Um, not too many pointers other than that. It's really pretty straightforward. If you haven't done one of these before, you know, hopefully you're a decent mechanic. But we're going to show you the actual problem we had. Let's see if we can get in the light. We'll put it right here. Where's a really good spot? Where's that really chewed up part? Right here. Yeah, so hopefully you guys can see this, but the tooth, the teeth on this are so mangled. I mean, they are just so, uh, you see how it's supposed to be here, you know, all the way across, and it's just totally chewed up. So when he was turning the starter, it would literally just, like it wouldn't even engage anymore. So we got a new flywheel, we got all new parts, and then you can see, here, tilt it towards the lights so they can kind of see, ooh, careful. You can see how this, hopefully you can, see all this uh, kind of pitting and these wear marks on here and there's a little bit of bluing. That's never good. Um, sometimes you can resurface these and reuse your flywheel. In our case, we're not going to. You can replace just this ring gear, uh, but it's a little more trouble than it's worth to us. So we're just going to put a new flywheel on it, scrap this one. Um, clutch wasn't in horrible shape, but you know it wasn't great. Um, very dusty. Uh, they're all filled with, you know, debris from the clutch being worn out. Uh, you know, there's in between. There's barely a gap anymore. Um, it's not terrible. Um, I think that's it. Uh, when you remove this thing, this shifter, the four x four shifter, we didn't really see many videos on this, but all we did was loosen. Can you hold that? Uh, this goes on the side of the transfer case. No, it goes on the side of the transmission. And there's to these two bolts. And also, here's a pointer. We saw this star thing, and we were like, man, how are we going to get that off? Because you can't reach it. And then we realized, oh, it's just a regular bolt. So we turned it with a wrench. Um, and then up here, or the other way, it sits like this. And this is your 4x4 four four shifter. All we did was undo this nut and then take a pry bar in here and pry this open just a little bit. And then your 4x4 four four shifter comes right out. Um, and, it connects onto here. and it connects onto there. There's a little grommet. We'll have to push that back through. That's a real pain. Um, and then inside, we got our shifter out. You know, you have to do that. Uh, there's four bolts here, here. There's four bolts one, two, three, four. And then your shifter comes out. And is the truck unlocked? Or is it locked? I think it's locked. Oh, okay. Well, I'll show you through the window. Um, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, as you can see, we did this in a driveway on gravel with plywood. So, I mean, if you're mechanically inclined. Make sure it's chucked up. Yeah, make sure it's chucked up real good because it kind of fell off earlier this morning before we got working on it. So, we made sure it was really good. And I know you may be thinking, oh my gosh, this looks so sketchy. But, you know, it, it's very solid. You know, we, we jostled that transmission a whole bunch. And, uh, you know solid chunks of wood feel free to comment <laughs> <laughs> you know nobody said we're professionals but you know we're getting it done um a couple chunks of wood you know we made sure it's not going to come out of there and you know chucked on both sides and then uh you know the shifter's out uh just a big hole in the truck now you can reach inside and almost turn it on um all right well that's it for our uh, video on ooh, eight minutes, ooh, nine minutes. Well, uh, hopefully we'll do a video putting it back in, maybe give you some more advice. But uh, I think that's it for now. Yep. All right, ciao.